Hello everyone, um, just making a video letting you guys know how I'm doing and, um, as far as how I feel right now, um, I know y'all saw the video earlier about, you know, what happened outside, it was kind of, it was something, you know, I never seen it like that before where it was just actually, like, just red in the sky like that. I mean, usually I'll see it red, but not to the point where the almost the whole entire sky is red. And it's crazy because after the whole entire sky was red, it's, it's like it dimmed down, you know, like it went back to normal. And the sun was coming up. It was just so weird because you would think it would still be there. But within like two minutes after I made the first video, it just, I don't know, it just went back to normal, which is so weird. But, um... Um, I also talked about the dream that I had in the video as well. Um, I just want to talk about it again because it's, it's strange because it's like it actually helped. And I feel better. I feel relieved. And I feel less stressful. I mean, of course, I, do, I still do think, but it's way less stress. I thought I had that dream. But um, this dream that I had was about pretty much me. Excuse me. I hate when this stuff happens every time I record. But I was like in this uh, um, some type of course. Um, um, I'm not sure what they call it, but I was in some type of... Um, Some type of course I had to go through, um, and it had traps and everything. And uh, as I was going through it, it's like in a dream I understood it. I'm not sure if I heard a voice speak or not, but I, I do know. It's like I was told something in my head, and I, and man, it's really hard to explain it. But um, it's like in a dream I knew what it meant. And it's like, uh, the closer I get to the goal, the, the closer I get to the end, the more I would, the, 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 the less I would think about Lisa is pretty much what, what, the, um, what the course was pretty much. Um, and it's like, as I was going through it, it's like when I got in the middle, I'm going through the course and um, you know, just jumping over obstacles and everything. And it was kind of dangerous, you know, but I, I, I did it. But when I got to the middle, I'm like, it's it's working. In my own dream, in, in that in that dream, that course I was in, my own dream, I was saying to myself, I, I stopped and I was like, it's actually working. And then later on, I just went on, you know, I finished the um, obstacle course and uh, um, afterwards, it's like when I got to the end. For some reason, I was struggling to get on the outside of the obstacle course. Even though I was right there, I was kind of struggling to go through it. But then, I went, I went back, and then I pushed myself to go through that, to, to go through the other side, you know, to complete the obstacle course. It's like I was struggling to go to go through it for some reason. Maybe because I still had a thought and I just couldn't get out of my head. And, you know, maybe it reacted to that, you know, and, and then I had to push myself just to go through it. Like, I just was strong. I was strong. I had to make myself strong and just go through it. And I did it. And when I made it through it, I woke up and then I felt a relief. Like, I felt better. Like, um, I think about her less. And let's say if I was to find out anything, you know, it's like, yeah, it would hurt. But because I had found out more things, but it's like. I don't really care anymore, you know, and I'm not saying I don't care about her, I do, it's just, I don't feel the same like I used to with her, because, you know, I, I realized so much, you know, and it all started to hit me, like, why am, why am I upset about this stuff for? Something good is going to come my way, and... My blessings is coming, whether it's down here or in heaven, because I was told in heaven 
that's what my next blessing is gonna be. That's what I was told. But um, you know, I thought about all this. I'm like, there is someone out there for me. You know, he showed me that for a reason, and I'm letting this my wife get to me. Like, trying to get back with her, letting all this stuff get to me, getting upset. Let her destroy my life, even though she ain't doing anything, like, you know, ain't like she doing anything towards me as far as doing her in front of my face anymore, because I'm not there anymore, but she was still hurting me even though I wasn't there, you know, and I thought about so much of what she done, and, you know, yeah, I forgave her and all, but it's like, my feelings for her is just, I don't know, it's not the same anymore. And I thought about so many times that I tried to get back with her. I, I felt I felt so stupid trying to get back with her so many times. And, and I'm like, man, you know, just let her go. And I feel kind of better, you know. Um, now I'm just like a gut feeling will come in, like you know, because I it's like I'll think about her for the split second and then it'll go away. It, it, it happens so fast now, it's like, now it's no problem, you know, and now I feel a lot better, and now I'm just waiting for that woman, and waiting to go home, and get my life on track, that's pretty much it, I just want to let you guys know what's going on, and um, how I feel, and I'm starting to feel a lot better, you know, I pray every night, and I also pray every night, for that woman to wake up and what he gotta do to bring her to me, whatever he has to do to bring her to me and to help me get my life back on track. You know, and everything, you know, and um and hopefully she can help me, like I said, you know. Because like I said, you know, I'm I'm moving I'm moving to Tennessee and uh, I'm gonna have some people help me. Um, my best friend is going to help me, and I really appreciate that from them. But, um, yeah, I mean, I got till May until I moved to Tennessee, so hopefully by then I'll meet that woman and she would, you know, she would help me maybe, you know, who knows. But unless I move to Tennessee and I meet her, who knows, anything can happen, you know. But, um, yeah, I feel a lot better. I wanted to get back with my wife, but she's too corrupted. She's not awakened. And um, it's going to take her a while to waken up. It's going to take her a while. She's too corrupted right now. She's hanging around her own people. It's not going to happen right now. She, she messed up her entire relationship with God right now. And uh, I don't want no woman like that. As much as I loved her at the time, I don't want a woman like that. But, um, this one woman, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to just keep it to myself. Because, um, it's just that certain woman, I'm not going to say, but, uh, I'm about to get off here, so, um, I love you guys. God bless you. And um, I'm trying to stay focused, to be happy, and just waiting for her and waiting for my life to get back on track and waiting for him and, you know, waiting for the Lord. And I'm going to get my life back on track. I'm, I'm not going to just wait. I'm going to get my life on track, of course. You know, it's just... It's starting to feel a lot better. Just gotta think positive. I mean, if my wife ever wanna take me back, I'm, I don't think I can do that. Because she's not fully awakened and uh, she's gonna go back and do the same thing. Or she's gonna treat me the same way. It's not gonna just happen that fast when she just changed like that. Cause she is too corrupted, you know. And y'all, y'all know what she's doing. Cause I, 
pretty much told y'all what she's doing. Like she smoking and everything now, and and she's pregnant. But um, I don't know why anybody would lie about being pregnant, but she's not pregnant. She just said her just to have that guy around at the time. Until he found him a girlfriend, and now she's having problems. <laughs> I don't talk to her, it's just, I have a certain person that tell me things about her. But, um, I honestly don't care anymore. Now, we all know she's going to think about everything, and she's going to think about me, and, uh, we don't in the future, she might want to get back with me. Uh, uh, but, uh... <laughs> Like I said, I'm waiting for that woman. Get my life back on track. And waiting to go home. And that's it. I thank you guys for being there for me. For trying to cheer me up every time I was down. It was like at the time, nobody couldn't tell me anything. I was too hurt. I was too hurt. Until I had a dream today, last night, and I woke up from it, I thank God so much for that. Because it actually helped. A dream, man, it took off so much stress off me. It's ridiculous. Like, not in a bad way, but it's just crazy how he works. He can make a dream make you feel better. Like, he can make a dream relieve stress off you. you guys take care and um if i ever have any dreams or visions or whatever and you know i would post it you know i would let you guys know um and i would you know also let you guys know as far as what's going on with me how am i doing and everything i'm not going to stop doing this i'm not going to give up i know i wanted to so many times though I'm not going to give up. God bless you all and I love you.